Turn it, turn it, turn it. Maturity. This is maturity. This, this is, is maturity that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Oh, we will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is maturity that the Lord. 
harassment. I will rejoice and be glad. Hey, this is my shoes. This is my shoes that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the maturity. And our lives will never be the same again. We, we refuse to go home the way we came. Hallelujah. I want to welcome the woman of God, Bishop Boko, to come and uh, take over from there. Let's appreciate her. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bishop. Let's appreciate her. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bwana sifiwe. Kila mmoja amebarikiwa na tunaendelea kubarikiwa na mwalimu yuko ndarasani. The man of God is here with us. And the listen a teacher knows that the students are getting well when you remember what he taught yesterday. God is God is God is and he is in you. And he is, you, you are in him. Amen. We thank God for the servant of God. We love you. And because of that, we are here to receive again. At Yasipa, Batu Tumbo Zetu Mkupwa. Suambia Mwenzako, Tumbo Yako Panua. Mwambia Panua. Ambia Watu Wawili Watatu, Batu Si Yasipa. Nasikia Kuangezewa. Nasikia Kuangezewa. Nasikia kuongezewa <laughs> Nasikia kuongezewa Amen In that position and that time And the moment of time I want to welcome the servant of God To speak the outer course of the Lord Amen Welcome man of God Pika makofi mubaka Vike madhabaune Pika makofi mubaka Vike madhabaune Hallelujah. The Bible says we go from strength to strength. All of us who are peers in Zion, we go from strength to strength. That is the level you are now. And God has a plan to take you higher. You are supposed to be available to the Holy Spirit for that to happen. Praise the Lord. So lift up your hands to heaven and tell the Lord, I am ready to learn. Go, go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. I desire your blessing, Lord. I desire your strength. Pray loud and clear. Pray. Just take a minute and call upon God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, open my eyes to see. I desire to see. Pray. Continue calling upon the Lord. Desire to hear. Faith will come because you have heard. Power will enter into you because of revelation. Lord, you know where I am. And you know where I'm supposed to be. Take me there, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you all the glory. 
Baba, twakupa utukuvu wote. Give you all the praise. Twakupa sifa zote. We submit ourselves to your Holy Spirit. Twajijenyekesha chini ya Roho Mtakatifu wako. Unto your word. Na kwa neno lako. Help us. Tusaidie. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Say amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Bwana akubariki. As you take your seat. Unapoketi kwa kiti chako. Confirm the name of your neighbor. Thibitisha jina la jirani wako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. God bless you. Bwana wabariki. Have you confirmed their names? Umejifahamisha jina la jirani wako? Amen. We are going to have us a time of Bible study. Tutakuwa na muda wa mafunzo ya Biblia. I want to greatly honor God's servant. Napenda kuheshimu watumishi wa Mungu sana. God's servant. Wa mtumishi wa Mungu. Bishop Paul Mutua. Askof Paul Mutua. For 28 years, Kwa miaka minane, he has been following the Holy Spirit to have these meetings happen every year. Kwa na hii kila mwaka. That is the work of grace. Hiyo ni kazi ya neema. So let us clap our hands and honor God for Hiyo that. Makofi, Thank you, Lord. Bwana. All the apostles in this meeting, pastors, bishops, and all the leaders of the body of Christ, thank you for coming. And the Lord bless you. And everyone else in the service, you are very important. Wewe ni wa muhimu sana. God bless you. Bwana akubariki. Amen. Amen. I believe you have your your notebook. Naamini kwamba unayo daftari yako. Somewhere you can note something. Mahali unaweza kuna kili jambo. Jeremiah, I'm in a Verse 20. Are my battle eggs. Thou art my battle axe and the weapons of war. Wewe urungu langu na silaha zangu za vita. That is the topic. Hicho ndicho kichwa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You are what God says you are. Wewe ni kile Mungu usema ndiwe. You are not what men say you are. Wewe si kile wanadamu wanasema ndio. You have what God says you have. Una kile Mungu anasema unacho and that is supposed to be received in your heart na hicho kinapaswa kupokelewa kwa moyo wako for you to experience change ili wewe upate mabadiliko there is nobody here who wishes to fail in life hakuna mmoja hapa anatamani kuanguka katika maisha men of god desire to succeed in ministry watumishi wa mungu wanapenda kufaulu katika huduma business men and women desire to excel in their businesses wafanyi biashara wangependa kufaulu katika biashara zao Students desire to excel in their academics. Wanafunzi wanataka wafaulu katika masomo yao. But you are supposed to build capacity. Lakini wewe unapaswa ujenge nguvu. That you may arise to the levels of your impact. 
ili uweze kuinuka kufikia mahali pako pa kupachika and so ili is as we share the word tunapo shiriki neno god came and spoke to jeremiah mungu akaja akanena na He told him you are weapons you are my battle axe akamwambia wewe ndiwe shoka langu la vita and i also stand here today nasimama hapa leo pia to say the same words to you kusema maneno yale yale kwako you are not just a human being kwamba wewe si mwanadamu tu god is calling you a battle axe Mungu anakuita shoka lake la vita. But that battle ex is supposed to be sharpened. Lakini hilo shoka la vita lapaswa kutiwa makali. For it to be effective. Ili lifanye kazi kwa sawa. And accomplish the work that is supposed to accomplish. Na kutimiza kazi ambayo yapaswa kutimiza. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 10:10. Biblia inasema katika muhubiri 10:10 Please check Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10. Angalia kitabu cha muhubiri sura ya 10 mstari wa 10. The Bible says if the iron be blunt. Biblia inasema iwapo chuma hakipati. And he do not wait or sharpen the edge. Wala mtu hakinoi. Then must he put to more strength ndipo hana budi kutumia nguvu zaidi but wisdom walakini is profitable for direction yafaa kufanikiwa for you to be effective ili uweze kufanikiwa impactful uweze kupachika and you go in the strength that is required in your life and ministry na uende katika nguvu zinaohitajika kwa maisha yako na kwa huduma sharpening is important kutia makali ni muhimu and that is why this program is always in place na ndio sababu jambo hili huwekwa maanani kila wakati that we may be sharpened ili tutiwe makali proverbs 27 verse 17 midhali 27:17 proverbs 27:17 midhali 27:17 iron sharpens iron chuma hunoa chuma so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend ndivyo mtu anoavyo uso wa rafiki yake now the way you are operating today in your ministry or in whatever you do jinsi unafanya kazi leo katika huduma ama chochote ufanyaje you can do it better waweza kuifanya bora zaidi you can do it better and better than the way you are today waweza kuifanya kwa ubora na ubora zaidi kuliko leo but sharpening is important lakini kunolewa ni muhimu sana and now god tells jeremiah mungu anamwambia yeremia you are my battle ex wewe ni shoka langu la vita when he spoke those words to him aliponena maneno hayo kwake he wanted to destroy fear alikuwa anataka kuvunja uoga He wanted to destroy fear from his life. Alikuwa anataka kuvunja uoga kutoka kwa maisha yake. And as I speak, na ninaponena, fear uoga is going to be destroyed from your life. Utaharibiwa kutoka kwa maisha yako. And the things that you have been fearing, na mambo ambayo umekuwa ukiyaogopa, they will begin to fear you. Yataanza kukuogopa wewe. Because now you know you are a battle ex. Kwa sababu sasa wajua wewe ni shoka la vita. Greet that battle ex sitting next to you. Salimia shoka lililoketi kando nawe. You are my battle ex. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita. God wants to instill that in your mind. Mungu anataka kutia hicho katika nia yako. That your approach to life. Ili mtazamo wako wa maisha may change. Ubadilike. God wants you to despise all the barriers ahead of you. Mungu anataka udharau vizuizi vyote vilivyo mbele yako. May you receive power 
to despise barriers. Because before you understand who you are, the anointing that was distinct for your life will not come in your life. The resources that are supposed to come into your hands. They will not come to you if you don't know who you are. You are a battle axe. In the hands of God. All you need to understand. The axe does not operate by itself. Somebody has to get a hold of it. So when you yield it to God, when you surrender everything to God, you become a powerful weapon in the hands of God. God will begin to use you in a new way from now. Say after me, I am a battle ex in the hands of God. Say amen. So you are not supposed to run away from your enemies. You are not supposed to show your enemy your back. You are my battle ex. And sometimes you can feel very weak. Isaiah chapter 41 will show you that you can feel very weak because of the battles that you go through in your place of work in your family in the ministry but listen the word of God says in verse 10 Isaiah 41 verse 10. Isaiah Fear thou not. I have spoken the word to you. <laughs> Fear thou not. I am with you. Now, you as a battle ex, I want you, I want you to see God is with you. Say God is with me. Confess it in English. Yes, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. God is your God. I say Jehovah is your God. There is nothing to fear in this life. May you receive power to go and expand in your life. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Receive strength. I will strengthen you. Yeah. I will help you. Yeah. I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. Do you believe that? Now listen, you are supposed to be tough strong because God is not going to use a coward soft man coward and soft you are supposed to arise in power and you subdue any other power resisting your progress. Verse 11. Behold, 
Tazama. All they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Wote waliona asira juu yako watatayarika na kufadhaika. If you believe it is your word say amen. Kama unaamini neno lako sema amina. Glory to God. They shall be as nothing. Listen, what do you think you can accomplish? When you realize your enemies are simply nothing. How far do you think you can go? How high do you think you can go? When you wake up in the morning tomorrow and you realize all your enemies are nothing and from today your power than you are Enemies. They shall be as nothing. And they shall and they that strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them. And thou shalt not find them. I'm announcing the word of God to you that growing let there be no excuse because God has already dealt with all your oppositions I see power upon you you shall seek them, verse 12. And thou shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing. Allow that to sink in your mind as a battle axe. Allow that truth to enter into your mind. That you are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. There is no barrier anywhere to delay you. I believe this before I finish hearing. That the power of the spirit. Will come upon you. And lift you. And establish you in a place in the spiritual world. Where you will excel. You cause impact. Listen, you can feel weak. That is the point I'm coming to. Verse 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will uphold thy right hand. Saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help you. If you know you are divinely helped, say a big amen. Yes, you are helped. And the one who is helping you will never give up on you. He will never leave you in the midst of the battles. But verse 14, you can feel something different. Fear not thou warm, Jacob. Say hi to the insect besides you. <laughs> My interpreter is saying insect. Thank you very much. Asante. 
Angalia mdudu mwingine pande nyingine umsalimie. Look at another insect on the other side and say hi. Mdudu fulani. Fear not thou worm Jacob. Usiogope Yakobo uliye mdudu. Tell that worm. Mwambie yule mdudu. Fear not. Mwambie usiogope. You are powerful. Wewe una nguvu. You are strong. Wewe una nguvu. You are unstoppable. Hauzuiliki. Fear not thou worm Jacob. Usiogope Jacob uliye mdudu. And you men of Israel. Nanyi watu wa Israeli. Why? Kwa nini? I will help you. Mimi nitakusaidia. Yes, you are a worm. Ndio wewe ni mdudu. But the worm that has been helped by God will do wonders. Lakini mdudu aliyesaidiwa na Mungu atafanya maajabu. I said you are a worm. Wewe ni mdudu nimesema. Sometimes you feel you have no courage to continue. Wakati mwingine unahisi hauna ujasiri wa kusonga mbele. Discouraged. Unasikia kushushwa moyo. Fearful. Ukiwa na uoga. But I'm here to tell you. Lakini niko hapa ni kwamba the one who is helping you. Kwamba anayekusaidia will help you until you become mighty. Atakusaidia uwe mkuu. Fear not. Usiogope. Thou warm Jacob. Wewe mdudu Yakobo. And you men of Israel. Na watu wa Israeli. I will help you. Mimi nitakusaidia. Says the Lord. Asema Bwana. And I redeem na mkombozi wako. The holy one of Israel. Ni mtakatifu wa Israeli. Now listen what God will do to the worm. Sikiliza Mungu atafanya nini na mdudu. Now greet your neighbor for me. Salimie jirani yako kwa ajili yangu. Tell him oh, you are a worm. Mwambie wewe ni mdudu sawa. But God has a plan to change you. Lakini Mungu ana mpango wa kukubadilisha. Behold. Tazama. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument with the teeth. Nitakufanya kuwa chombo kikali kipya cha kupuria. Now God is able to pick the worm. Mungu anaweza kumchukua yule mdudu and make the worm na kumfanya mdudu a new awe chombo kipya. Kipya nini? New sharp. Now forget about the way you have been in the past. Sahau vile umekuwa maisha yaliyopita hapo awali. Forget the times of your failings. Sahau nyakati zako za kufeli. And believe God. Na umwamini Mungu. That he has made you a new sharp. Kwamba amekufanya chombo kipya threshing instrument. Kikali cha kupuria. With the teeth. Kilicho na meno. Ambia mwanzako niko na meno ingine. Tell your neighbor that you have another set of teeth. Let me keep quiet for five minutes until you, I confirm you have another teeth. Nanyamaza kuenda kikatano, nithirishe kwamba unameno mengine. You can bite anything, if not anyone. Unaweza kuuma kitu chochote kama si mtu mwingine. Whatever has been threatening you, chochote ambacho kimekuwa kikikutisha is no longer there hicho hakipo tena you are a new instrument wewe ni chombo kipya you are weapons of war wewe ni silaha ya vita that anointing is going to sink in you and you will know nguvu za upako zitaingia ndani yako na hauta you are battle axe wewe ni shoka la vita a new instrument with teeth chombo kipya chenye meno what will you do with the mountains that have been ahead of you utafanyia nini milima ambayo imekuwa mbele yako you shall 
thrash the mountains. Receive power to remove mountains. And the power to subdue powers of darkness. Are you ready to threaten those who have been threatening you? That anointing of the Holy Ghost to come upon you now as you hear the word. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument with teeth. And you are who God says you are. And you have what God says you have. So you have teeth. You have another set of teeth. Go and excel. I am not just preaching. I'm releasing something in your heart. You go and excel in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall beat them small. And thou shall make the hills as chaff. You will grow. Utakua. You will expand. Utapanuka. You see, before you begin to build, Unajua kabla kuanza kujenga, there are things that you are supposed to bring down. Kuna vitu unapaswa kuleta chini. Second Chronicles 26. Mambo ya nyakati 26. When God raised Uzziah, wakati mungu alinua usia, the Bible says in verse 5 and he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had understanding of visions. And as long as he sought the Lord God God made him to prosper. Mungu alimfanikisha. Swallow that one. Meza hiyo kwanza. Then verse 6. Mstari wa sita. Mark it. Piga mstari. And he went forth. Akatoka. And he, he made war. <laughs> Na akapigana. Are you listening? I can read this one. Oh, that is a reflection of okay. So listen. Sikiza. He went ahead and he made war. Alitoka akapigana. Before you go out there to do war. Kabla wende pale inje upigane. Understand that you are the battle ex in Ele, the hands of God. He went forth. Alitoka. Use the New King James Version on the screen. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Biblia Now he went out and made war. Akatoka, akapigana. After this meeting, God make war. Enda upigane. Receive the fighting spirit. Pokearo wakupigana. He went out and he made war. Alitoka inja akapigana. Some of us are too soft. Wengine wetu ni wororo sana. Too soft. Mm-hmm. Something small makes you run away. Kitu kidogo kina kufanya utoroke. You are not going to run away. Sasa hauta toroka. He went and he made war against Philistines. Alitoka inje akapigana na wa Filisti. What did he do? Alifanya nini? He broke down the wall of Gath. Akauvunja ukuta wa Gathi. There is a wall 
that must be brought down today. Kuna ukuta lazima ushushwe chini leo. May you receive power to bring it down. Pokea nguvu za kuvunja huo ukuta. You go there to fight. Unaenda pale upigane. He brought down the wall of Gath. Alileta chini ukuta wa Gathi. Then he went again and he brought another one down. Alienda zaidi akaleta ukuta mwingine chini. Which is that wall? Ukuta wa Yabne. The wall of He brought the wall of Jabne and the wall of Ashdod. Ali alivunja ukuta wa Yabne na ukuta wa Ashdod. It was after bringing the walls down. Ilikuwa ni baada ya kuvunja zile kuta. That is started building. Hapo ndipo alianza kujenga. The reason why we have not been able to build some things. Sababu ambao hatujaweza kujenga vitu zingine. There are walls kunazo kuta that are supposed to come down before you begin building ambazo zapaswa kuvunjwa kabla hujaanza kujenga by faith kwa imani say this sema haya every wall kila ukuta that has been resisting me ambao umekuwa ukinizuia i command them na waamurisha to come down yavunjike say amen Receive the power to bring down the walls of resistance. Pokea nguvu za kuvunja kuta za kuzuia. You can't begin building. Wezi kuanza kujenga before kabla you bring down these resistances. Ya kuvunja vizuizi hivyo. And the Bible says in verse 7, Biblia inasema katika mstari wa 7, and God helped him. Na Mungu akamsaidia. You remember the war Unakumbuka mdudu The worm can be helped by God Mdudu aweza kusaidiwa na Mungu Even when you have no money in your pocket Hata wakati hauna pesa mfukoni mwako You can do exploits Waweza kufanya makuu You can use the money that is in the pocket of another person. Unaweza kutumia pesa iliyo kwa mfuko ya mtu mwingine. Like your neighbor. Kama jirani yako hapo. Confirm. Angalia. Wives understand that very well. Wake wanaelewa hiyo story sana. They spend the money that is in uh, another man's pocket. Wanatumia pesa iliyo kwa mfuko wa yule mwanaume. and god helped him na mungu akamsaidia are you hearing that je unasikia hayo may the same god help you na yule mungu akusaidie he helped him alimsaidia again as the philistines dhidi ya wafilisti and again as arabians na juu ya waarabu asante asante ifikia Kiswahili nasema nini? Juu ya Waarabu. God helped him against the Arabians. Mungu akamsaidia dhidi ya Waarabu. Against warriors. Dhidi ya waria. Against Gulbal. Walio kaa Gurbali. Isili. Kule isili and mehomens na juu ya wameuni there is nobody hakuna mtu yeyote who can stand before you when god is helping you anaweza kusimama mbele yako wakati unasaidiwa na receive the power to help you pokea nguvu za kukusaidia jeremiah 51 sorry isaiah 41 before i go to jeremiah isaya 41 I believe you are receiving something. Naamini unapokea kitu. Go and check where you sleep. Enda uangalie mahali wewe ulala after the service or in the evening. Hapo jioni tukimaliza ibada zote. There are things in your house. Kuna vitu nyumbani mwako that they don't match your level. Ambavyo havifanani na kiwango chako. Go and throw them away. Enda uzitupe nje.
Even you yourself you know. Hata wewe mwenyewe unajua. There are things that you have. Kuna vitu ambavyo unavyo. You need to throw them away. Waitaji kuzitupa inje. Isaiah. Isaiah. 41. Arubaini na moja. Verse 16. Mstari wa kumina sita. When God is helping you. Wakate mungu wana kusaidia. That is what will happen. Hicho ndicho kitafanyika. Thou shall fund them. Utawa pepeta. And the wind shall carry them away. Na upepo utawa peperusha. And the wheel will shall scatter them. Na upepo wakisuli suli utawa tawanya. And you shall rejoice in the Lord. Na we utamfuraia buwana. And you shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Na utatukusa buwana wa Israel. You are a battle ex. Wewe ni shoka la vita. That is who you are. And our scripture, is, that is Jeremiah 51, 20. Na Jeremiah, I'm seeing a moja ishirini. Thou art my battle ex. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita. Then the next part says, we pawns of war. Msali wa mungini unasema silaha za vita. We pawns prulo. Yani silaha nyingi si moja. Physically, they see you as one. Kwa dahiri wana kuona kama mmoja. But spiritually, lakini kiroho, you are a weapon walking on the on the face of the earth. Wewe ni zana za vita zinazo zunguka duniani. You are a weapon. Wewe ni zana za vita. Listen that, to that. Kuba. You are you are a weapon. Wewe ni zana za vita. Of war. Za vita. Now when he Paul the apostle wakati Paulo mtume writing to the church of Corinth akiandikia wa Korintho in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 wa Korintho wa pili kumi he says something anasema jambo that i want you to connect with Jeremiah 51 verse 20 ambalo nataka uunganishe na Yeremia 51:20 verse 4 mstari wa 4 let me begin in verse 3 nianzia mstari wa 3 for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Say amen to that. For the weapons, weapons, maana silaha za vita. You are my battle ex. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita. And the weapons of war. Na silaha za vita. That is who you are. Wewe ndiwe hayo. But carnality. Lakini kithahiri. That is when you allow the flesh to control you. Ukikubalia mwili ukuongoze. You don't manifest that authority and that power. How the rishing of uizo na mamlaka hayo. That is why he's saying. Diyo sababu anasema. In verse 4. Mstari wa ine. The weapons of our warfare are not kano. Maana silaha zetu za vita si za mwili. You are supposed to be spiritual. Waitaji kuwa wakiroho. You are supposed to be anointed for you to manifest as a weapon of war. Waitaji kutiwa mafuta ili udhirike kama sana za vita. And I know you are anointed. Nanajua unamafuta. You may not feel it. Labda hawisi hivyo. But you are. Lakini wewe umetiwa mafuta. Say I am anointed. Sema ni metiwa mafuta. Confess it again without fear. Tamka mila woga. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through God. See yourself as those weapons. Not that you have a weapon. You are not that you have. You are. 
wewe ndiwe silaha not that you have si kwamba una silaha you are wewe ndiye silaha there are places you will go after this service kuna mahali utaenda tukimaliza ibada hii and when you appear there na ukitokea pale powers of the enemy will know nguvu za adui zitajua somebody has come in our territory mtu ameingia maeneo yetu somebody has come to disturb our operations mungu ame mtu amekuja kuta I am talking about you. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. For the weapons of our warfare. Don't look for weapons. You are the weapon. Greet that weapon on my behalf. Salimia hiyo silaha kwa niaba yangu. Maybe you are greeting a grenade now. Labda wewe unanguza grenade sasa. And somebody is greeting K47. Mwingine <laughs> anasalimia KK47. Somebody is greeting a caterpillar. Mwingine anasalimia hiyo caterpillar. Somebody next to you is a very powerful person. Mwingine ameketi kando yako ni kifaru chenye nguvu. Forget about your weaknesses. Sahau unyonge wako. And arise in power. Na uinuke kwenye nguvu. You are in the hands of God as a weapon. Wewe umikononi mwa Bwana kama silaha. You are in the hands of God as a weapon that he is using. Wewe umikononi mwa Bwana kama silaha anayoitumia. That is how I see myself. How if you need you in a Jiona. I don't see myself as Michael Wambua. Si Jioni kama Michael Wambua. That I was born in Machakos. Niliyezaliwa Machakos. Mwala. Kule Mwala. Kaba. Kaba. No. Hapana. I am a weapon. Mimi ni silaha. I don't need to feel it. Sihitaji kuhisi. I know I am. Ninajua mimi ni silaha. Nobody can bewitch you. Hakuna anayeweza kukuroga. You are a weapon that doesn't have generational curses. Wewe ni silaha isiyo na laana za vizazi. How can you be destroyed by something that destroyed your grandmother? Utaangamizwa na kitu kiliangamiza nyanya yako namna gani? That gospel is a lie. Injili hiyo ni uongo. That gospel is a lie. God doesn't have a grandfather. Mungu hana babu. Okay, I know what you know. Najua kile unajua. I know what you preach. Najua kile wewe uhubiri. But let me tell you the plain truth. Lakini wacha nikwambie ukweli mtupu. You are a new creation in God. Wewe ni kiumbe kipya ndani ya Mungu. Okay believe what you want to believe. Sasa amini kile unataka tu. But listen. Lakini sikiliza. There is no way. Hakuna njia. The blood of Jesus Christ. Kwamba damu ya Yesu Kristo. That saved you. Ambayo ilikuokoa. Can be defeated by the blood of our God. Inaweza kushindwa na damu ya mbuzi. Unless your God was born again ila huyo mbuzi wako awe amezaliwa tena for the weapons kwa maana silaha i will repeat this scripture until when you are sleeping you dream with it nitarudia mstari huu ili ukilala wote kuhusu mstari huu second corinthian 10:4 wa korinto wa pili 10:4 for the weapons of our warfare maana silaha zetu za vita are not carnal. Si za mwili. Now, underline the next portion. Piga mstari sehemu hiyo. But might through God. Might through through God. Zina nguvu katika Mungu. Do you have God? Ye wewe una Mungu? You are the weapon then. Wewe basi ni silaha. You are the weapon. Wewe ndiwe silaha. Don't think that somebody came and stole your star. Usifikiri kuna mtu alikuja akaiba nyota yako. That is a dangerous doctrine. Hiyo ni injili ya kutisha. My Bible says, 
Jesus that Jesus Yesu is holding anashika is holding anashika 12 stars anashika nyota 12 in his hand mkononi mwake who came and stole them from your life ni nani aliyekuja akaiba kutoka kwa maisha yako don't look for an excuse usitafute kisababu arise and shine inuka uangaze don't blame your anger. Usimlaumu mjomba wako. Who is not born again? Ambaye hajaokoka. Don't blame your neighbor. Usimlaumu jirani. You are a battle ex. Wewe ni shoka la vita. You are weapons in the hands of God. Wewe ni zana za vita mikononi mwa Bwana. I knew that many years ago. Nilijua hayo miaka mingi iliyopita. And I decided to change. Nikaamua kubadilika. Will you decide to change? Wewe utabadilika? You are sitting next to a very powerful human being. Wewe umeketi kando ya mwanadamu mwenye nguvu sana. Congratulate him or her. You are very powerful. Mwambie wewe una nguvu sana. Isaac the son of Abraham Isaka mwana wa Ibrahim When he was in the land of Gerar wakati alikuwa katika nchi ya Gerar he grew alikuwa until mpaka they came and they told him wakaja wakamwambia go away from us ondoka katikati yetu because you are too mighty Kwa sababu wewe ni mkuu sana. Have you heard that? Je, ulisikia hayo? Depart. Ondoka kwetu. Because you are too strong. Maana una nguvu sana. That is your testimony from this service. Huo ni ushuhuda wako baada ibada hii. People will confess. Watu watakiri. You pound feet where they have been putting you. Kwamba wezi kutoshea mahali wamekuwa wakikuweka. For the weapons Maana silaha of our warfare zetu za vita are mighty through God ni, mighty through God ni kuu katika Mungu mighty through God ni kuu katika Mungu to the pulling down of strongholds kwa kuleta chini ngome now these strongholds is ngome they are not actually demons. Sima pepo haswa. Or principalities. Ama tawala ama falme. There are things that have been in your mind for a very long time. Ni vitu ambavyo vimeka kilini mwako kwa muda mrefu. That you have come to believe. Kwa amba umekuja kuwamini. For example. Kwa mfano. What makes you not buy a car? If you don't have one. Ni nini kinakufanya usinunue gari kama hauna moja? Pulling down strongholds. Kuvuta chini ngome. You are my battle ex God says. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita Bwana anasema. Weapons silaha nyingi. Rulo weapons silaha nyingi. Of war. Za vita. You need to destroy the wrong mentality. Waitaji kufunja nia ambao si ya kweli. Satanic mindset. Nia za kiushetani. That tells you. Ambazo zinakwambia. You can't be better than the way you are. Kwa amba wezi kuwa bora saidi kuliko ulivyo sasa. Verse 5. Read for yourself. All of you loud. Mustari watano jisome kwa sasa. Casting down. But listen, we spend long time casting down, casting out demons. Today, don't remove a demon. Leo Do what? Fanya nini? You cast down what? Yeah? Arguments. Wangushe mawazo. The old King James calls them imaginations. Tafakari hiyo inasema 
Because you think there are places you cannot go, you think. Unafikiria kuna mahali wewe hauwezi kwenda. Cast that imagination down. Shusha mawazo hayo chini. You say that is a suit you cannot buy. Unasema kuna suti wewe hauwezi kununua. It is your thinking. Ni mafikira yako. Cast it down. Ishushe chini. You argue there is argument going on in your head. Kuna mabishano kichwani mwako. You hate yourself. Unajichukia. You look at yourself on the mirror. Unajiangalia kwa kiyo. And you say I wish God changed this part. Unasema laiti Mungu angebadilisha sehemu hii. No way. Hapana. You are fearfully. Wewe umeumbika kwa kuogopa. And the wonderfully made. Umeumbika kwa kuogopa. And you are supposed to know it. The Bible says you know. You Wa- know it. Waitaji kujua hayo Biblia inasema ujue. It says you know. Inasema ujue. Psalm 139 verse 14. Saburi 139. And that my soul knoweth that well. Na hiyo nafsi yangu yaelewa kabisa. You know it. Ujue wewe. Inside you you know. Ndani yako unajua. Just man somebody tells you wewe ni sura mbaya. Fikiri mtu anakuambia wewe ni sura mbaya. Then unakasirika. You become angry. Something is wrong with you. Jambo ni si sawa kwako. Ama mtu akuite ngombe. Or somebody calls you a cow. Na unakasirika. And you are angry with them. Ukikasirika umedhibitisha wewe ni ngombe. If you are angry with them, you have confirmed that you are a cow. Because you know who you are. Kwa sababu unajua wewe ni nani. You can't be affected by what others say. Uwezi kuadhiriwa na kile wengine wanasema. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. 2 Corinthians 8 9. Wa Korintho wa pili 8 9. It says and you we know. We know. We know. <laughs> Maana tunajua tunajua. It has to fight what you have been imagining. Lazima ipige kile ambacho umekuwa ukifikiria. And you know the grace. Umejua neema. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. That though he was rich. Jinsi alivyokuwa ijapokuwa alikuwa tajiri. Yet for your sakes. Ila kwa sababu yako. He became poor. Alifanyika maskini. Why everybody? That you hili kwamba wewe that you might become how hili upate kuwa nini tajiri why are you entertaining poverty kwa nini unafurahisha umasikini just imagine fikiria how, how much do we pay for this conference coming here tunalipia pesa ngapi kuja kwa kongamano hili registration Miatano. 500 shilingi 500 shilingi 500 pa aya mwaka mzima and you are complaining na unalalamika au fai kuwa hapa sasa hii wewe kwanza you are not supposed to be here 500 kwa mwaka 500 once a year and you are complaining na unalalamika something is wrong with your mind Kitu si sawa akilini mwako. Pimwa, pimwa ibada ikisha. Go for check up after this service. You complain that the conference is being charged 500 pa hii. Unanungunika kwamba mwaka mzima kongamano hili ni shilingi 500. Because the conference will be next year April. Kwa maana kongamano hili litakuwa mwezi wa 4 mwaka. And now you are saying. Sasa unasema. It is too much. Hiyo ni nyingi pesa. Do you know you are listen you are possessed. I'm not saying demon. You are, I didn't say you are possessed with demons. I said you are possessed. Wewe umepagawa lakini si mapepo. Something else. Kuna kitu kingine. Then you come to the house of God and you give so small. 
na unakuja kwa nyumba ya Mungu unatoa kidogo sana because that is how your mind has been programmed kwa sababu nia yako imepangwa hivyo change it ibadilishe change it ibadilishe cast down that image formation imagination angusha <laughs> hayo mawazo chini <laughs> yeah you have you have stayed too long in the wrong thing umekaa sana kwa jambo ambalo si sawa until you are convinced it is the truth mpaka ukahakikisha kwamba huo ndio ukweli Go and change it. Enda ubadilishe. Your problem is not your grandmother. Shida yako sio nyanya yako. Your problem is not your mother in law. Shida yako sio mama mkwe. The problem is between here upward. Shida yako iko baina ya masikio kwenda juu. Eh. From here kutoka hapa upwards. kwenda juu. That is why Peter wrote and said. Petro ndio aliandika akasema. First Peter chapter 1 verse 13. Petro wa kwanza sura ya kwanza 13. He says you God your mind. Anasema linda nia yako. First Peter. Petro wa kwanza. Wherefore God of the loins of your mind akili yako iko na kiuno hivyo jifunge kiuno cha nia yako angalia mwanzako muambie kwa hivyo niko na kiuno ya pili hallelujah tell your neighbor that you have another loin god have the loins of your mind jifungeni viuno vya nia zenu you god Linda be sober uwe na kiasi and rest your hope fully upon the grace mkitumainia kwa utimilivu ile neema that is grace kuna neema that is where you are supposed to put all your weight ndio mahali unapaswa kuweka uzito wako wote because you are blessed kwa maana umebarikiwa You are powerful. Wewe ni mwenye nguvu. Let your mind accept it. Wacha nia yako ikubali. Your mind that is where the problem is. Kwa akili yako ndio kuna shida hapo. God the loins of your mind. Jifunge viuno vya nia yako. Now your mind is not flesh and blood. Nia yako si nyama na damu. There is a spirit there. Kuna roho pale. Ephesians 4:23 There is a spirit there in your mind. Kuna roho pale katika nia yako. It is not flesh. Sio mwili. And be renewed. Na ufanyiwe upya in the spirit of your mind you renew it. Ufanye upya roho aliye kwa nia yako. Your mind is not just the head and the brain akili yako sio ile nia yako sio akili na nyama that is something else kuna kitu kingine what is it ni nini ingine? the spirit roho of your mind wa nia yako you are supposed to use to renew constantly your mind Waitaji kuifanya upya kila wakati until you are acquainted with the power that you have mpaka utiwe zile nguvu ulizonazo First Peter 4:14 4:1 Petro wa kwanza 4 For as much as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh Kama vile Kristo aliteseka kwetu katika mwili Arm yourself Jitahidi wewe Arm yourself likewise Jitie nguvu hivyo hivyo With the same mind Na nia hiyo hiyo Do something with your mind. Fanya kitu na nia yako. Arm yourself. Jitie nguvu. Likewise. Hivyo hivyo. With the same mind. Na nia ile ile. Which mind is that? Ni nia gani hiyo? You are blessed beyond cars. Umebarikiwa zaidi ya kuwa na magari. You are healed. Umepona, umeponywa. You are not a carrier of any disease. Wewe si mbeba magonjwa yoyote. Arm yourself. 
Jivike. Arm yourself. Jivike. Likewise. Vivyo, vivyo. With the same mind. Nania ile. Because he was suffered in the flesh. Kwa maana yeye alieteswa katika mwili. Assist. Ameachana. From sin. Na dhambi. You are powerful. Wewe ni mwenye nguvu. Take care of your mind. Linda nia yako. Take care of your mind. Linda nia yako. And that is why. Na hiyo ndiyo sababu. Apostle Paul was a very powerful apostle. Mtume Paulo alikuwa mtume mwenye nguvu sana. But he faced problems. Lakini alikutana na shida. Because of the way the church used to think. Kwa sababu ya vile kanisa ilifikiri. Kila mtu kwa hii ibada hata mimi niko na ujinga fulani. Everyone in this service including myself has some level of foolishness. Ephesians 4:17. While Feso 4:17. Weka Kiswahili. Kama iko na Kiswahili, iko na Kiswahili. In Kiswahili. I'm finishing in the next three and a half minutes. Namaliza kwa dakika tatu nusu zijazo. I say okay, bas nasema neno hili. I say therefore. Uh. Tangu sasa. Yaani tangu sasa hii. From now henceforth. Tangu sasa. From now henceforth. Musienende kama mataifa waenenda vyo. Walk Kat- not as other genders walk. Katika ubatili. In the vanity. Wania. Problem ni Of their minds. Wameokoka lakini nia inakataa. They are born again but their minds have said no. Yaani umeokoka lakini akili you are born again but your mind inakuonyesha it shows you different kuna nyoka kwetu there are snakes in our place the next portion the next verse mstari unaofuata wa 18 ambao akili zao zimetiwa ngiza umeokoka lakini kuna nini you are born again but you've been darkened in your mind giza iko wapi there is darkness in your Kwa mind akili in your mind now wame wame wametengwa na uzima wa Mungu been alienated from the life of God kwa sababu ya ujinga through the ignorance uliomo inside uliomo inside in them salimia mwanzako mwambie najua kuna ujinga kiasi fulani tell your neighbor that there is some level of foolishness even if you are handsome hata kama umeumbika vizuri even if you are beautiful hata kama wewe ni mrembo kuna ujinga nyingi sana ndani yako there is some level of foolishness in you ile ujinga iko in dunia the foolishness in this world ebu imanjin think about it ebu imanjin think about it umeoa umeolewa you are married mnaenda kulala you go to sleep munaagiu nani atazima ta you are arguing about who will switch off the light wewe ulisomea wapi where have you schooled kitu kidogo kama hiyo something small like that wangapi wanajua nimeongea ukweli you argue Nilizima jana zima leo. Hiyo <laughs> ni unjinga nyingi foolishness. <laughs> Is it true? Je, ni kweli hayo? <laughs> you know I'm speaking the truth. Naneno you argue. Mnajibizana. In nothing. Bira kitu. You argue. Unabishana. And you are 20 years in marriage. Na umekuwa kwa ndoa miaka 20. Unakasirika. Unakataa kukula chakula umenunua. You become angry. Sio mjinga. You, you refuse to eat food that you have bought. Are you not a fool? Ati unalala kwa kiti unaachana na kitanda ulinunua you sleep on your chair 
You refuse to sleep on a bed that you bought. Where did you go to school? I decide I made that decision kitambo. Niliamua kabisa kitambo. I told my wife. Nikamwambia mke wangu, no matter what happens, I will eat. Aijalishi nini ifanyike nitakula. I'm the one who buys the food. Mimi ndiye nanunua chakula. Na wewe unanunua? You buy you yourself you buy the food is prepared chakula kinaandaliwa then a slight a slight misunderstanding lepe ndogo la kukosa kuelewana you, you say i'm not eating unasema sili leo listen sikiza eat while you are talking endelea na kula ukiendelea kuongea eat kula chakula eat kula <laughs> after that go and sleep on your bed Ukimaliza hayo enda ulale kitandani chako. You wake up the following day. Amka siku ifuatayo. You worship God there in the same bedroom. Abudu Mungu kwa hicho chumba cha kulala. Near him or her. Ukiwa karibu naye. Yes. Eh. Hey. Thank you Father. Asante Baba. Give you glory. Nakupa utukufu. Worship God there. Mwabudu Mungu pale. All this is in the mind. Hiyo yote iko kwenye nia. Problem is here. Shida iko hapa. Overcome it. Ishinde. You are going to be very powerful. Utakuwa mwenye nguvu sana. It is it is here. Iko hapa. I think we finish now. Nafikiri tumalize sasa. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Oh, we continue kidogo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Basi taendelea mpaka saa 8. <laughs> Until 2 p.m. So this is what Apostle Paul is, is telling them. Put it in new, the NIV. NIV if you have it. Check. Angalia. They are, they are darkened in their understanding. Akili zao zimetiwa ngiza. And separated from the life of God. Na wamefarikishwa na uzima wa Mungu. Think about the life of God. Fikiria uzima wa Mungu. You have the anointing. Unayo mafuta. The blood of Jesus is working in your life. Damu ya Yesu inafanya kazi kwa maisha yako. But because your understanding is darkened. Lakini kwa sababu nia yako imetiwa ngiza. You are sepa umetrated from tenganishwa kutoka the life kwa uzima the life of god uzima wa mungu the life of god is not flowing uzima wa mungu hautiririki because of ignorance kwa sababu ya kukosa ufahamu that is in them ulio ndani yao due to the darkening of their hearts kwa sababu ya kutiwa ngiza kwa nia zao meditation kutafakari is the cure hiyo ndio dawa meditation kutafakari is the cure hiyo ndio dawa i want you to go and sit somewhere nataka uende uketi mahali next week juma lijalo and meditate on all the teachings of this convention na utafakari mafundisho ya kogamano hili yote from day one kutoka siku ya kwanza to the last one mpaka ya mwisho thank god for technology shukuru mungu kwa sababu ya utaalamu that you can listen to this teaching again unaweza kuyasikiliza mafunzo haya tena and again na tena until you become strong mpaka uwe mwenye nguvu listen joshua sikiliza yoshua was a very powerful man alikuwa mtu mwenye nguvu sana who was supposed to war ambaye alipaswa kufanya vita but god never gave him any weapon of war lakini mungu hakumpa zana yoyote ya vita it was in 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 quotes it was a mistake ilikuwa kosa kwa njia nyingine never gave him any instrument hakumpa silaha yoyote to go and use it in war aende aitumie vitani he was given the book alipewa kitabu not facebook hakupewa uso kitabu Joshua 1 verse 8 Kitabu cha Yoshua 1 sura ya mstari wa 8 Read it as if you have never heard it before Isome kama hujawahi kusikia tena This 
book of the law. Kitabu hiki cha Torati shall not depart from your lips. Kisiondoke kinywani mwako. But you do what? Meditate on it day. Bali ya tafakari maliza jirani yako wewe ufanya nini usiku wote? You cry. Wewe unalia. You eat. Unakula. You sleep. Unalala. But listen. Lakini sikiza. He was given a strategy. Alipewa mkataba. Very powerful. Ulio na nguvu sana. That this book kwamba hiki kitabu of the law cha torati shall not depart shall not akitaondoka kisiondoke you see i read by my bible najua nasoma biblia yangu 5 hours every day masaa matano kila siku you, and you say you know i am busy wewe unasema nina kazi nyingi maybe labda there is nobody here Labda hapa hakuna mtu who is as busy as I am. ambaye ana majukumu mengi kama mimi. But I listened to the great men who went ahead of us. Lakini niliwasikiza wakuu watu walioenda mbele yetu. Kennedy Hagin. Kama Kennedy Hagin. Bill Graham. Bill Graham. Ernest Agle. Ernest Agle. Benson Idahosa. Benson in their last last years katika miaka yao ya mwisho mwisho they were asked one question waliulizwa swali moja if you were to start ministry again kama ungeanza huduma tena what is that one thing you would do more than anything else ni kitu gani kimoja utafanya zaidi ya kitu kingine chochote they agreed wakakubali they would study their bibles more than any other kwamba watalisoma biblia yao sana kuliko kitu kingine chochote that is what 2003 kenneth hagin said that and they died the same year Elfu mbili na tatu mwaka kenneth hagin alisema hayo you read bible more than eating usome biblia kuliko vile unakula i read it na i have around 54 bibles Nina Biblia ayapata 54. I read nazisoma and I read na nasoma and I read na nasoma and I read na nasoma and I meditate na nina tafakari that I don't write anywhere when I'm preaching kwamba sitaandika chochote wakati wa kuhubiri and that is not good according to theologians na kulingana na wanatheolojia hayo si sawa yeah they will tell you to write watakwambia waandike na kala which is right ni sawa kuandika i don't write mimi siandiki i will write after nitaandika nikimaliza kuhubiri make sure you stay with the bible until you remember what you studied Hakikisha umekaa na Biblia yako mpaka ukumbuke uliyoyasoma. I read my you see nikiamka kwanza nasomeanga Biblia wana wa kwa cho. When I wake up I read the Bible one hour in the toilet in my, in my house. In my, kwa nyumba yangu. I wake up and get into the bathroom. Naamka naingia kwenye chumba and I sit there. Na keti pale. One hour. Lisali zima. First of all, mwanzo, I eat it. Naikula. I meditate on it. Naitafakari. Then I wake up, I shower. Hivyo naamka <laughs> naomba, na naoga. I study another one hour. Kisha nasoma lisaa lingine limoja. Problem is that you think you have no time. Shida ni kwa kusoma Biblia. Do you need that grace? Je, unahitaji hiyo neema? Are you sure? Je, unahakika? Receive the power to understand scriptures. Pokea nguvu za kufahamu maandiko. You are my battle axe. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita. And the weapons of war. Na zana zangu za vita. We finish. Tunamaliza. 
Yeah, I have seven, I have nine minutes. Niko na dakika tisa. Go there at Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah msina moja. What will you do now that you are a battle ex? Wewe utafanya nini sasa unapojua kwamba wewe ni shoka? And you are a weapon of war. Na kwamba wewe ni silaha ya vita. Jeremiah 51:20. Jeremiah msina moja 20. Thou art my battle ex. Wewe ni shoka langu la vita. And a weapon of war. Na silaha za vita. What will happen? Nini kitafanyika? For with you. Kwa wewe. You. Wewe. I'm talking to you. Na sungumza na wewe. For with you. Kwa wewe. I will break in pieces the nations. Nita wavunja vunja mataifa. And with thee. Na kwa wewe. I will destroy kingdoms. Nita haribu falme. Go and destroy the kingdom of Satan in your territory. Go and destroy. Go and break in pieces the nations. You have the power to do that. Verse 21. With thee. Na kwa wewe, I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. Nitavunja vunja farasi na yeye apandaye. And with thee, na kwa wewe, I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Nitalivunja vunja gari la vita na yeye achukuliwae ndani yake. Now that is a spiritual language. Hiyo ni lugha ya kiroho. Things that are invisible. Mambo ya sionekana. Powers that oppress people. Nguvu ambazo zinafinyilia watu. You are there to make sure that they walk free. Uko hapo wewe wakikishi wametembea huru. Go and break what must be broken. Enda uvunje kile ni lazima kivunje. Before it breaks you. Kabla sika kija kuvunja. Have you heard that? Je umesikia hayo? Go and break what you are supposed to break before it breaks you. Enda uvunje kile wapaswa kukivunja kabla hakija kuvunja. This anointing Mafuta haya is inside you. Ya mondani yako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema bwana asifiwe. Receive the power to break. What is supposed to be broken? God has given you the mouth to speak. You can say anything. To anything. And it will obey what you say. Verse 22. With thee. Na kwa wewe, I will break in pieces man and woman. Nita vunja vunja mwanaume na mwanamke. I skip I go to verse 23. Naenda mstari wa 23. That we may have time to pray. Ili tuwe na mda wa kuomba. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. Na kwa wewe nita vunja vunja mchungaji na kundilake. I will... With the break in pieces, husband, man, and, his, and the yoke of oxen. Na kwa wewe ni tavunja vunja mukulima na jozi yake ya ngombe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Verse 25. Mstari wa 25. Behold. Tazama. I am against thee. Ni juu yako. O destroying mountain. Ewe mlima uaribio. Whatever destroys church growth in your area. Chochote ambacho uaribu kukua kwa kanisa maeneo yako. Whatever destroys your business. Chochote kiaribio biashara yako. Your job. Hina uaribu. Receive power and destroy it. Pokea nguvu ukivunje kile. That destroying mountain. Kile kina milima unau uaribu. You destroy that. Sasa uaribu wewe. Says the Lord. Asema hivyo buwana. Which destroyeth all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And I will make thee a burnt mountain. 
Nami nitakufanya kuwa mlima ulioteketezwa. Be convinced in your heart. Uhakikishiwe kwa moyo wako that there is no power. kwamba hakuna nguvu that can stop you. ambazo zaweza kukuzuia. Luke 22, 21 verse 15 as you stand up. Luka 21:15 tunaposimama. The mouth that you have been using to eat. Mdomo ambao umekuwa ukiutumia kula and to paint lipstick na kupaka rangi rangi God will give you another one Mungu atakupatia kinywa kingine verse 15 mstari wa 15 Luke 21:15 Luka 21:15 For I kwa sababu mimi will give you a mouth nitawapa kinywa angalia mwanzako Look at your neighbor. May God give you another mouth. Leave alone this one. God is able to give you another one. Mungu anaweza kukupa kinywa kingine. That does not gossip. Ambacho akisengenyi. A mouth that does not lie. <laughs> kinywa ambacho akidanganyi. I will give you a mouth nitakupa kinywa and wisdom na hekima which all your adversaries all of them ambao watesi wenu wote all of them wote watesi are you hearing that ye unasikia just imagine god giving you a mouth a mouth today fikiria mungu anakupa kinywa leo that your adversaries combined ambao watesi wako wote wakiunganishwa you are a battle ex that is why you have that mouth wewe ni shoka la vita ndio sababu unakinywa hicho all your adversaries shall not be able shall not be able ambao watesi wote wako hawataweza to gain strength or resist kushindana nayo wala kupinga Jehovah give you that mouth. Na Yehovah akupe hicho kinywa. Jehovah give you that mouth. Jehovah akupe hicho kinywa. And that mouth goes with the spirit. Na mdomo huo uendao na roho. That mouth mdomo hule also is given a spirit. Umepewa roho. Acts chapter 6 verse 10. Matendo ametume 6. That mimi. is the spirit you are going to catch. Hiyo ndio roho utaishika sasa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Read that and then you stand up. What does he say all of us? And they were not able na hawakuweza to resist the wisdom. Kusuia ile hekima. And the spirit wisdom and spirit hekima na roho by which he spoke ambayo alinena kwae god is giving you that mouth mungu anakupa kile kinywa that spirit roho yule whatever you say macho chochote useme nobody can resist it hakuna ataweza kukizuia nobody will say no hakuna mtu atasema hapana whatever you say chochote utakachosema nobody will resist it hakuna atakaweza kukizuia are you hearing me you battle axis je wewe unanisikia shoka la vita are you hearing me you weapons of war wewe zana za vita unanisikia clap your hands and rejoice in the lord kofi yako umfurahie bwana you can shout louder than that to the glory of god unaweza kupasa sauti zaidi kwa utukufu wa bwana Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Inua mikono yako. And I want you to do your neighbor one favor. Nataka umfanyie jirani yako uzuri fulani. Mshike mkono. Just hold the hand of your neighbor. Shika mkono wa jirani. Pray for that weapon. Ombea hiyo silaha. Pray for that battle axe. Ombea hilo shoka la vita. You say father Unasema baba Let your power be upon this your servant Na nguvu zako ziwe juu ya mtumishi huyu wako Pray loud Omba kwa sauti Pray loud Omba kwa sauti Don't fear anything Usiogope chochote Pray as if you are alone in this house Omba ni kana kwamba uko peke yako kwa nyumba hii Let the power come upon your ba your battle axe. Hizo nguvu zije juu yako wewe shoka la vita. 
pray for your brother and sister. Declare he is unstoppable. He is a new sharp instrument. He is a new sharp instrument with the teeth. Pray for him. May you receive power to crush mountains, to break resistances, to break the walls of God and the walls of Jebnath. Pray. The power of the Holy Ghost is in the house. Is in the house today. I refuse to be defeated. Pray for that man of God. Pray for that woman of God. She needs you. He needs you in prayer. Oh my God. What you want to happen to you. Pray to happen to him. Whatever you want to see in your life. Pray that you will see in his or her life. Father, we pray for the church in Machakos, the body of Christ in Ukambani, the body of Christ in Makweni, the body of Christ in Machakos. The body of Christ in Kitui, in Mwingi, we call upon your name. Rise new battle axes. Rise new battle axes. Rise new weapons of war. In every county of this nation. Somebody pray. Now pray for yourself. As you lift your hands to heaven. Lord anoint me afresh. Do yourself favor. By praying for yourself. Whatever has been lacking. Supply. Sublime. Whatever has been lacking in my life and ministry, sublime. Whatever has been lacking in my marriage, in my ministry, in my business, in my job, sublime. 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 Sublime power. Sublime wisdom. Sublime faith. Sublime boldness. Sublime authority. Pray, pray. Don't stop. Don't stop praying. Don't look to your neighbor. It is you and your God. Give me a mouth. Give me a mouth. Give me a mouth. And the wisdom. Are you praying for that? Let's 
Le zili à la rezi la kande le la rezi ali la 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 le la bo. Give me a mouth. Ni pekinyo bwan. And a wisdom. Na hekima. Give me a mouth. Ni pekinyo. And a wisdom. Na hekima. That all my adversaries. Wamba watesi wote wangu. Shall not be able to stand against me. I wish you knew the weight of that prayer. Give me a mouth. Give me a mouth. Whatever I say. My territory will be changed. My territory will change. Give me a mouth. Speak in other tongues. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Take your time and pray. Oh. Jehovah. Jehovah. Give me a mouth. Release in me the power. To break into peace into pieces the nations. Give me power to destroy kingdoms of darkness. No sorcerer. No sorcerer. No wizard. No agent of Satan. Will ever frustrate my life. Pray than ever before. Don't wait for another time. Don't wait for a better day. Don't wait for a better session. Call him now. Zalele besi la kabila. Zelela ya selele la malabo. Zele Zakaba la mozile le 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 Jehovah. Something is happening. Oh my God. They were not able to resist. The wisdom. And the spirit. By which he spoke. Anoint me Lord. Anoint me Lord. Anoint me, Lord. Oh. If your desire and a common breakthrough the year 2024 in every area of your life I request that you walk forward. I will pray from where I'm standing. But your desire 
is to go to new levels. You are a battle axe. Weapons of war. Lift up your hands as you come forward and the cry to the Lord. Father, I receive your power today. Take away fear. Take away fear from my life. Pray. Sala la bosia, sakama la bosia, kanda la ba la bosi le 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 le. The power is coming upon you. Guvu zinakuja juu yako. Power is coming on you. Guvu zinakuja juu yako. Power. Dio. Power. is coming on your spirit oh oh my father my father Pour the glory in this place. Pour the glory here. Pour your power. Pour your power. Pour your power. Oh, oh my God, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with the power. Oh God Oh God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. He went everywhere. Doing good. Healing. Healing. All. Who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. For God was with him. For God was with him. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one of your hand on your chest. Say, Father. Don't fear anything or anybody. Just say, Father. Say, my Baba. You anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with the power 
I stand before you now. I am ready to receive power to receive the Holy Ghost. Are you ready? Say yes, are you ready? Receive the power of the Holy Ghost now. Receive the power of the blood of Jesus. Receive the power of faith. I declare you are a battle axe in the hands of God. Discouragement. It is gone from your life. Discouragement. Fear. Woga. Fear. Woga. Fear. Woga. Is gone from your life. Are you ready for apostolic anointing? Are you ready? In the name of Jesus. Receive power to do exploits. Carry power to do wonders in life. Every disease, every sickness, you are cast from the root. Father, I thank you. Give them mouths and the wisdom. Nobody will be able to resist what they say. Nobody will resist what they say. And his topable spirit of the Lord be upon you from today. And I know you have it. You have it now. You have it now. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Take one minute of thanks, thanks to God. Lift up your hands from the depth of your heart. Thank God for what you have received and what God has done in your life. Do it from your heart. Lord, we say thank you for your spirit, for the wisdom, for the glory, for the power. We say thank you. We give you glory, Lord. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Sikiliza. We are going to give. Tutatoa. Give. You honor God. Unamuashimu mungu. The Bible says in, in Proverbs 39. Honor the Lord with your substance you honor God I want you to go back there get 5,000 in your pocket go and get three thousand in your pocket Go and take 2,000. Take 1,000. And um, I want you to give honorably. Take an envelope. Don't just give. The reason why we use envelopes is not to hide anything. Just to honor what you are giving. 
How many have experienced something here? It's very important. When God moves like that in your life, you give. Mine is here. I preach with my offering ready. Give a sieve you don't have another time to do that. How many needs an envelope? Maybe you are in need of it. It is between you and God. But give there are those who will give that 5,000 and the least is going to give that 1,000 to God. But if you are best, the best of the best is below a 1,000. Be free to honor God in your level. How many have understood that? We are not in the same level. But in your level, do the best. Praise the Lord. On the screen, there is a till number there. Kuna nambari ya Mpesa. Till. 85 65 nobody serving them Ashas, you should be on the front to see who is yeah thank you there, you can't serve from behind you're supposed to face people Somebody else in need of help. At the corner there, there, is no there are many. This, this session doesn't have somebody. That session. They are still lifting their hands. Please. Those who are following this service via Facebook or YouTube. Be part of what we are doing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Is everybody ready now? Hakuna mtu anahitaji baasha sasa hivi. Kila mtu ako tayari? Bado. Tungoje? Sawa, tunangoja. Wale unaeka sandaka kwa socks, unaeza kuwa free na freedom ya kuinama. If your money is in the socks, don't fear anything. Chukua tu. Baasha kule mbele kwa pasta. Sija ajapata mtuwa mungu pande ile. Emmanuel, help that man there. Okay, ata wengine uko wanainua mikono. I'm giving you time because we are not giving because we give in services. You are a battle ex. Sacrifices fight for us. Do you know that? Amen. Amen. Precious Father. Baba in the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Christo. You follow your word to confirm it. Unafuatilia neno lako kuitimiza. And here we are lifting up our sacrifices to you. Na sisi hapa tuainua the bills yetu kwako. Receive them. Zipoke. In the name of your son. Kwa jina la mwanao. And let there be wonders. Na kuwe na maajabu. Miracles. Miunjiza. Things happening beyond our calculations to confirm that you are God who is receiving this offerings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let up.
bring it forward. Just we order. start from that side. And the far corner. Come. come. Thank you, Jesus. Come quickly. The Lord, the Lord bless you. You battle the X. Wewe shoka la vita. Man of God, thank you. You are a battle the X. Shoka la vita wewe ndiye. You are a battle the X. Shoka la vita. Weapons of war. Silaha za vita. Unstoppable. Usiezuilika. Unstoppable. Uzuiliki. God bless you. Bwana akubariki. God bless you. Bwana akubariki. Amen. 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 I'm seeing great men of God in the service. Naona watu wakuu wa Mungu katika ibada hii. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your humility. Asante kwa unyenyekevu wako. Living what you may be doing. Kiamini kwamba kila unakifanya the Lord increase you. Bwana akuongeze. The Lord increase you. Bwana kuongeze. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Giving is part of that teaching. Kutoa ni sehemu ya yale mafundisho. Wale tuko katikati huku vile wanaendelea unaanza jipanga tu na join line. Ingia kwenye line ukiwa pande huu ama hapa katikati pia. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. Ninachotaka ni Jaya moyo 
Stand up to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare the blessing of the Lord upon you. Wisdom, the spirit of revelation, and knowledge to sit on you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the word of God. And appreciate the man of God. Hallelujah. Tunaweza kukaa tafadhali kwa matangazo kwa matangazo kidogo. Pale hinje tuko na Thank you.